All right. So first off, I wanted to just cover really quickly for those of you who are coming from V8i and moving to Connect Edition. That's what the CE stands for, Connect Edition. In V8i, there was two shortcut lists. You had your AccuDraw shortcuts that you see here on the left, and then you had your positional mapping, which were your tools, and you had those shortcuts, and you can see these on the right. In Connect Edition, there is one and only one shortcut list. It's the AccuDraw and tools, and whether Home has focus or AccuDraw has focus, all of these shortcuts will work. So there's one list rather than two. In V8i, for the AccuDraw shortcuts to work, you had to have AccuDraw had to have focus. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And positional mapping, Home had to have focus. So you had to make sure who had uh, the focus at that moment, where in Connect Edition, either Home or AccuDraw will work. All right, so let's talk for a moment about what does that mean, dialogue with focus. So at the bottom right of your status bar, there is an icon. It's about six icons in here. Depending on which you have turned on, you could actually turn these other ones off if you wanted to. So home looks like the little house there. This is the AccuDraw icon, the tool settings icon, and the key and window icon. So if you want home to have focus, you press either the escape key, the F12 key, or the reset on the mouse will also activate home having focus. AccuDraw, if you want to give it focus, F11 will give it focus, tool settings, F10, key in F9, or the enter key while home has focus. So escape enter would give key and window. Now we're really not talking about tool settings and key and window today, but I wanted just for completeness to, to show you those options as well. All right, from v I to Connect, there has been a few changes, not many. So if you are very proficient with AccuDraw in V8i, there's really not that much that's changed. What used to be the space bar to change the mode between polar and rectangular, which we'll talk about in just a minute, to do that now, you use M for mode because space bar is now the shortcut for the pop-up for the tools. And we'll take a little look at that as well. So what was M in V8i was the point key in multi. So now that we're using that for changing mode, that had to change as well. So that became PM. The P used to be P for point key in single, and M was point key in multi. So now you do P followed by P for point key in single, and P followed by M for point key in multi. If you didn't use those, then there's nothing new to learn there other than what they are now. The final one was Q, was quitting out of AccuDraw. That was kind of always a pain because you'd accidentally hit it. So that's just gone, and I'm quite happy with that. If you want to hold AccuDraw, you can press H, which will temporarily hold AccuDraw, and then H again, which will kick it back in again. All right, so this is uh, by category. I'm not going to read this to you. Uh, we are going to go through these, but this is just for your reference later. Uh, this is just my grouping. It's not perfect because some of these, like RA and RC, yes, they do rotate the compass, but they're also part of the auxiliary coordinate system, so you'll see it in both lists. So they're not always 100% unique. Uh, but this just gives you an idea of how you might group the different uh, categories of, of AccuDraw shortcuts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.